Okay, welcome back. I'm uh, today. I'm working on trying to add my uh, oxygen sensors to the exhaust uh, for the Aces electronic fuel injection. That's my little uh, tag there. But uh, anyway, uh, the fuel, the oxygen sensors uh, get mounted into the exhaust, and I got a weld drill hole and uh, weld this little. Uh, fitting on here on both sides uh, it's supposed to be something like that uh, so we'll drill those out and get those mounted and uh, that'll be one more step uh, so there's the instructions that kind of gives you an idea of the angle that uh, needs to be at um, help condensation not get on the sensor so that's what I'm attempting Okay, it looks about right. It's not good to interfere with the bolts, and that's about the right angle. Yeah, I can get that. Something like that. Now I'll mark the other side, and then I can pull those off and start drilling. about there okay okay now well, I think I got it ready to weld up so we'll see if this works
Okay. That looks good. Okay, we'll clean that up and uh, be ready to put it back on. Okay, well that didn't take too long to do, so O2 sensors are welded and in place. And got both sides on there, so I'll take that back apart just so when I get the rest of the exhaust uh, put on there, they can get that welded up. But, uh, okay. Okay, well, the next step I want to do is get the uh, new fuel pump put in. Uh, I've got the ACES fuel pump um, along with all the hardware, extra hose, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to route this. Uh, this is a diagram that basically to use. I won't be able to mount the uh, regulator yet until I probably get the body on the car so uh, trying to figure out the best location uh, this is the fuel line here so I'll cut it and I was looking at putting it right here on that part of the frame measuring off the height of the uh, spacer there so it's really tight between the body and the frame right there. I don't know if there's enough room and I really hate to mount it here and then put the body on it and find out it doesn't fit. So a uh, better option looks like it's going to be right here. I can actually use a couple of the mounting holes there. I'll cut the uh, gas line right here, probably somewhere in there and get the fuel pump, filter and filter, something like that. Um, so it'll take a little bit of work, uh, but then I got to also re run a return line. So this will get ran up here. I'll have to connect this to this. That'll be the inside. Then I'll put a fitting here and bring it back down and run it back along that. And that'll be the return line going to the tank. So a little bit of work to get done now. So I'll go ahead and start working on that. Okay, well, I got a bracket made for the pump. And I got to bolt it on here. It's good and solid. <clears throat> so now it's just a matter of uh, getting that tightened up. Then I can cut the gas line there and here, probably in order to get the other two small filters in there. Uh, get those plumbed up and then uh, get it all tied back together. And I think I'll be good. I'll, I'll figure out the wiring. I'll probably just ground the... Uh, negative side to the frame and uh, run the hot wire up towards the front of the engine uh, so eventually I can uh, get it wired into the uh, switch but we'll uh, get that done next okay I got the uh, pump mounted I'll have to tighten all everything up but uh, first filter in uh, get those clamps on and the second filters Hidden underneath here, looks good there, I'll tighten that up. Might have to bend a little bit there just to get it uh, nice and tight, but uh, then I will get the return line ran and I'll get it attached to that line just so it uh, stays nice and tight. But, uh, little by little. Okay, well there's always something you never think of or see before, but uh, so I'm running the uh, return line uh, down through the frame where the original uh, line comes through here, runs through the frame, comes out here. So what I'm trying to do is run this return line right through here, but there's some really sharp uh, slag from the welding uh, right there. So I'm going to have to take a little grinder wheel and get in there and clean that out, make that nice and smooth so I don't end up with a poked hole in the line. So 
That's uh, what I got to concentrate now. Okay, so today I'm working on the condenser for the AC. Uh, pretty filthy. Uh, I don't even know if it's any good, but it seemed to all be sealed. Uh, I didn't see any leaks when I took it apart, so I already got one bracket off this side, taking the other one off. Uh, I'll clean it up, I'll straighten up the fins, uh, put it back together and bolt it on. So uh, a little bit of work to do. I, I've got a tool that'll straighten out these fins, so that'll make it look better. may not work any better, but uh, that's what I'm doing with the AC compressor. Okay. These little rubber brackets or rubber cushions here. I'll have to see if I can uh I don't know if I can replace them or not, but they they definitely have a little bit of rot in them and I mean they feel okay. I might be able to clean them up and reuse them, but uh, we'll just see how they come apart. Okay, well they don't look too bad. Uh, they feel solid. Uh, I'll try cleaning them up, and uh, I mean, they show a little wear on them, but for what they do, they're just a rubber cushion, stop vibration, so I might go ahead and reuse them. I haven't priced new ones, or even if you can buy them, but um, I might, I'll probably end up reusing those. Okay, well, I'll. Uh, Take these parts, uh, do a little sandblast and clean them up, get them repainted, uh, clean all this up, wash it off, uh, get rid of the cobwebs, and uh, we'll go from there. I think I can clean that up and make it look, look pretty good. Okay, well, I did some sandblasting, did some cleaning, did some painting. Uh, parts are about ready to go back together now. Um, I think that looks um, pretty good. Uh, a lot of straightening of the fins. Uh, it took me a little while to do all that, but I uh, cleaned it up and uh, getting ready to put it back together now. So once I get that, I'll get it back on the car and I've got the uh, fuel pump in now. Uh, I got the wiring here. Uh, just waiting for get it finally all wired. But uh, yeah, it's uh, getting closer and closer. I'm about as far as I can go with it. Okay, well that's uh, got it back together. I won't say it looks as good as new, but. Uh, I'm happy with it, and I think once I get it on there, it should look just fine. So that'll be the next step. 
Okay, well, this is finally uh, the front ends back together for that much of it anyway. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, looks pretty much like new. I uh, just can't see the front of it, the pretty part. But uh, wait until I uh, get a few more things put back together before I can finish wiring and uh, all the hoses. But uh, this is pretty much how it's going to set for a while. I will get it uh, covered up in plastic. So it doesn't uh, get too dirty and then i'll get started on the the body a uh, lot lot to do there so uh hope you've enjoyed what i've been doing so far uh leave a comment if you want and check that like button so we'll see you on the next one